Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 225. That is, what is the first testing that is performed after receiving a build from developers? Okay, let me answer. So after we receive, we as software testers, after we receive a build, build is nothing but the software, okay? Why we receive the build from the developers? For testing purpose, right? Software testers receive the build from the developers for testing purpose. The build may be in the form of web application, that is web application URL, or the build may be in the form of an EXE file, which can be installed on the top of uh, Windows operating system, or the build can be in the form of an APK file, which can be installed in uh, any Android mobile, okay? So that's what is a build. Once you receive the build, okay, a new version of the build, what is that first testing that you generally perform as software tester? If this question is asked, simple straightforward answer for this question is smoke testing. Software testers, before performing any other testings on the received build from the developers, they will start with smoke testing. But what exactly is smoke testing? In smoke testing, the important major and critical functionalities are verified at a high level, okay? So it should not take much time, okay? Smoke testing should be completed not uh, more than, it should not take more than 30 minutes, even though it's a very big complex application, it should not take more than 30 minutes. So we have to figure out the scenarios or functionalities of the application, which are very important in the application, which are may major in the application, which are very critical in the application. And also we don't have to test such kind of important major critical functionalities at depth. We have to test them at a high level. Only few, few test cases for each and every important major critical functionality of the application we are going to test, okay? So I have created a separate video on smoke testing before, okay? So before coming to this uh, uh, video where I'm answering about uh, what is the first testing after receiving build from developers, I already covered an answer for what is smoke testing in the previous session. So you can refer that, okay? Uh, if you want to know more about smoke testing, I don't want to go deep here on smoke testing. But if someone asks you in the interviews, like what is the first testing that you, uh, you as software tester will perform after receiving a build from the developer, your simple straightforward answer should be smoke testing, where the important major critical functionalities of the application will be verified or tested at a very high level, okay? In very less number of, less amount of time, okay? So what if the smoke testing fails? If the important major critical functionalities, uh, even after testing at a very high level, only few scenarios, if you are testing major scenarios of the important major critical functionalities, if they are not working fine, is it a good thing to go proceed and uh, do a in-depth testing? No, right? We have to reject the build. Okay, we have to send the build back to the developers. Okay, developers have sent the build to us for testing. But before we decide to perform an in-depth or in-detailed testing, we perform smoke testing at a high level as I mentioned, on the important functionalities. If that smoke testing is failed, we have to report the defects for the functionalities. That is important major critical functionalities which tested at a high level. For those scenarios, we have to report the defects. And with the reference of the uh, that particular defects, we have to prepare an email and inform. We have to send that back to the developers, stating that because of so and so defects in the uh, so and so important major critical functionalities of the software, which we have tested at a high level, Okay, we got this particular defects. Because of these defects, the smoke testing has failed. As a smoke testing has failed, we cannot proceed for the in-depth or in-detail testing. Hence, we are rejecting the build and we'll be waiting for the next build, which may pass the smoke testing, okay? So like that, we'll reject the build. What if the this important major critical functionalities which are verified at a high level as part of smoke testing has been passed? Okay, then no problem guys. Okay, we'll proceed for the other testing. Okay, we'll proceed with the next, uh, whatever the testing we have to perform, we'll perform. Okay, we'll go for the in-depth testing. Okay, so hope guys, you got the answer for this question. That is what is the first testing that is performed after receiving the build from developers? Simple straightforward answer for this question is smoke testing. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.